so now we're going to do ankle and the foot examination now so what we have to do uh, any joint examination again it's the same thing it's look feel move first we will look at the joint we'll feel the joint and then we'll do the movement so it's inspection it's palpation and then the movement and uh, what we have to do make sure uh, we're having the patient who is exposed below the knee and make sure you have the chaperone to ensure the patient privacy and before you start make sure you take consent right so let's start so we'll be doing the inspection uh, for the ankle and foot from the front from the side from the back so from the front uh, we'll look for if there is any redness any kind of swelling if there is any scar mark for any kind of surgery any bruises so same thing from the front from the side and also you have to look uh, from the back as well you can also have a look at Achilles tendon as well then what we'll do we'll tell the patient to take few steps and we'll check the gait of the patient right now let's do palpation so it's gonna start with temperature so we'll check the temperature on both the sides and make sure you compare the temperature then what you'll feel we feel for the pulses distal pulses your dorsalis pedis and posterior tibial right and then in palpation the first thing we're going to feel is metatarsophalangeal joint this one make sure you keep looking at the patient's face for any kind of tenderness then then we'll feel the tarsal bones again make sure you keep looking at the patient's face if there is any tenderness right then what else we can do is we can feel for medial malleolus and we can feel for lateral malleolus as well for any kind of tenderness let's feel calcaneum as well so you need to just bend the leg a bit yeah so first thing is this calcaneum for any kind of tenderness make sure you feel this and also what can be done is you can feel for tenderness in the Achilles tendon as well so that's your palpation now let's do the movements so we are starting with plantar flexion right this is your dorsiflexion now the third one will go for active toe flexion now active toe extension then ankle inversion and ankle eversion you can relax now So if you have got a patient with ankle sprain, uh, what you will find, uh, you will find that the uh, patient will be having tenderness during palpation and will be having limitation uh, in the movements, right? And make sure to complete any examination, you examine one joint above, one joint below and make sure you do full neurological examination. Thank you.